Live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering .conf 2017. Brought to you by Splunk. Well, welcome back to okay. Dunconf 2017. Here we are at uh, Splunk's annual get together with Dave Vellante, I'm John Walls. We are live in the Walter Washington Convention Center in beautiful Washington, D.C. I say that, proud to be a native. Uh, actually raised here, live here, wow. fly the flag here. Wow. This is my <laughs> place, Dave. I, listen, I love this city. I, I love too. coming yeah. down here. Lots to do. My son's down here, so. But if we weren't here, where do you think, where should we be? Maybe on the deck of a Carnival Cruise Line ship right now? That would be good. I would like that. I would love to have the maybe, cube on the deck of a Carnival. Maybe Ruel Waite can swing that. Hey. What do you think? Ruel Waite joins us. He is the, uh, a manager of delivery and support for Carnival, and uh, you got room for two on the next uh, ship out of Miami? Listen, man, for you guys, anything. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're hired. I, I can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. All right, Ruel, thanks for being here with us. No problem. On the Cube, glad to have you, uh, and here at the show as well. Um, all right, so let's talk about, first off, uh, Splunk. Yeah. What are you doing? First of all, well, let's back up in terms of what you do. Yeah. Your, your core responsibilities, and then we'll get into the Splunk story after yeah. that. Yeah, so I, I, manage, I manage the support operation for our e-commerce platform, as well as for the guest-facing uh, shipboard applications. So uh, the e-commerce the, 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 the e platform is where you go and, and buy, purchase your cabin on, uh, you know, on, on, on the web. Uh, you would also be able to purchase your shore excursions, your spa treatments as well. Or um, we have an e-retail site where if you, if you have a friend who's sailing, you can buy a bottle of champagne and have it in their room for when they, for when they get there. Mm -hmm. so, you know, so, so all those purchasing functionalities we, we, uh, we support on the, on, on the e-commerce platform. And then the, the guest-facing application, the shipboard, we're talking about the mobile application where guests, uh, uh, chat, where guests chat and interact with each other or plan their day. Um, we're talking about the, 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 the Pixels application where guests are, um, you know, purchase their photos that they take throughout their cruise. Sure. And, and you know, there's some facial recognition stuff there as well. And, and the ITV that's in your room. So, so, so we, have, we have separate, um, many different uh, um, sort of applications that, that, that fit under, under that portfolio. Let's talk about the data. There's yes. a lot of data that you just, you just created. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. Um, what's the data pipeline look like? Where does Splunk fit? Yeah. So, so we 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 are we, we Splunk as much as we can, and we and we are continuing to 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 build that um, as as we go. Um, you know, our application logs, you know, are are are, are Splunk. Everything, you know, we 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 uh, we produce from the application. Also, our, our performance metrics from our from our servers and our data, um, and, and our and our and our network, and all of those systems, we splunk that because that that's critical for us to 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 triage uh, issues that are occurring. You see, because our, our operation is 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 about monitoring what's happening. It's about resolving issues as quickly as possible, and it's about communicating to our business. Mm -hmm. So so those three things are you know, <laughs> we, data uh, is central to all of that. Right, so we need to get as much as we can, and we need to be able to get insights into it. Can you talk about the, you know, where you started? Mm -hmm. You mentioned off camera about four years ago. Yeah. And how you've been able to to inject automation into your processes, and just mm -hmm. take us through your journey. Yeah. So, um, you know, we started uh, a few years ago with Splunk, and it, we, it was primarily a triage tool for us. Right, so we an incident would occur. We try to get in and look at some logs, figure out what's going on, um, and and as we've as we've evolved, we it, it's become more of a uh, a proactive um, alerting tool for us. It's become uh, more a communication tool, a collaborative tool for us. Uh, you know, because you know we 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 have we, we leverage things like the ITSI, right? Um, that allows us to 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 understand the baseline behavior of our system, right? Once we baseline that, then we can understand the spikes. We can understand when, when things are changing, and that allows us to react and 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 quickly uh, identify things, um, defects in our system, things that are occurring, and 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 resolve them, right? So once so once we, uh, you know, once we kind of 
got our legs around, okay, we, 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 get what, we get how to use Splunk to find stuff, now let's figure out how to get Splunk to tell us stuff. Okay. Right? And then, you know, and, 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 now, and now once Splunk is telling us stuff, let's figure out how we, we tell the business that stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of how we, we, the journey we've had. And in Splunk's in that thread the whole way. The whole way. So, from, from, whole so, way. so ultimately then, I mean, what are, well, right now, what are you putting into practice that maybe you, you didn't have available? Yeah, sure. Two, three years ago. Yeah, sure. So, so one of the challenges we had was, um, with a typical e-commerce site, you have several layers um, of, of, of the application, right? You have your web servers. You have, you know, you have caching infrastructure. You have a database server. Um, and we, you know, we have a mainframe uh, um, reservation system as well. So um, there, there are several teams involved with, with supporting all those different platforms. Uh, now, when, when we have an incident, you know, it, 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 it's, it's sometimes challenging to, you know, you get somebody on the phone and you're like, hey, what are you seeing over there on the mainframe side? Well, I, I see this error occurring. Oh, on the database side, um, they, they're, they're telling you, okay, we're seeing some sort of timeouts um, here, but we're not sure if it's related to the same thing you're talking about, and, and, and we, we, we didn't have a way to tie it together. But by using Splunk um, transactions, what, what we decided to do was, we decided to log the session ID, the web server session ID across all, all our layers, right, and push, push that through, and, what, and, and, and that allows us to tie those transactions together across those layers. And now when we have an incident, we're able to, when we're talking to the, to, to, to the mainframe, we're saying, hey guy, hey, go look at this. Mm -hmm. And he say, oh, here's what I'm seeing. You can and we isolate can, it. And we right? can isolate it, yeah, yeah. and we can pull it together, and, it, and, and it, it's really helpful. So will you get to the point, are you trying to get to the point where you can automate the remediation, or is that something you don't want to do because you want humans involved? Uh, you, know, you know, automation is good, and, for, and whatever, whatever we can automate, we, 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 try to, we try to do that. At this point, uh, we're not automating the, the resolution through Splunk at this time, but what we are doing is we are um, providing the on-call or the engineers that are responding with as much information as we can in order to have, have them quickly flip that switch. So if we have, a, if we have an alert that we know, hey, this, this issue requires a, a, a recycle of, 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 a, of an application pool or, 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 or some kind of other action like that. We put that in our Splunk alert. Mm -hmm. And we say, hey, uh, we're, we're seeing this issue occur. That email and that text message that goes out actually tells the, the engineer that, that you know, these, are the, these are the suggested actions that you can take in order mm -hmm. to quickly resolve this issue. Bro, what are you hearing from the business side? What are the business drivers and how is that affecting what you're doing in IT generally and specifically with data and Splunk? Okay, so from the business side, we, we're, we're looking at most bookings, right, is the, you know, one, one of the major metrics that, 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 we, that we look at, um, and, and our guest experience, right? So, um, and, and on the web, that means, that means the site needs to be available, it needs to perform, and it, and it needs to work. Right, and so what? What we really are trying to do um, with Splunk is understand those uh, what, those, be, those those issues that are impacting our, our guests on on the on on the booking side. What that means is we need to know how well we are converting, and and if we are looking at um, homepage performance, and we 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 can now tell, hey, if our homepage loads in five seconds versus three seconds, these are how many fewer people make it to our payment page, which is huge for us, mm. right? So, so, so that's, that's something that we, we, we really try to hone in on, and you know, it really helps us to, 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 to collaborate with the business and, 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 and understand really what is the revenue impact of these IT metrics that, we, that, 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 that you know, we're, we're spitting out. But there could be other factors involved in that too, yes. other variables, right? I there, mean, you, there are. So you can't just say, you know, this is, but, do you have enough of a track record there right. over a couple of years? Say, okay, right. you know, five second loan means this. We got a thirty percent conversion rate. We get three seconds, man. We got them a hello, yeah. hello yeah. and now but we have a fifty percent conversion. Whatever. That's yeah, but that is that is where what I'm excited about um, at, 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 at the conference is is the machine learning um, capabilities that, that we've been hearing about, right? Because that what that, that will allow us to to then model all those different factors okay. that 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 go into. Um, when someone goes from the homepage 
the payment. You're totally right. Uh, we have several things that, that, that go into that. And um, what we want to be able to model, hey, on a, normal, on a normal day, you know, here's our guest behavior. When we have a sale, you know, how, how, how do our guests behave differently? Or when, you know, on a, on a Monday night at, at 8 p.m., what is, what, is, what, is what is the behavioral trend? So, so it's, all, it's all important to us, and getting the data um, behind it and being able to model that is, is going to be really key for and us. And to, to connect the dots for me on yeah. how you'll use machine learning and how will that affect the business? So you'll yeah. make different offers at different times? Or no, so what, what, what I mean is, um, if, if, if I understand that, um, uh, if I understand how, 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 how guests behave, uh, I will know if I'm having a, uh, an, a def an issue on the site, if there's something happening that's impacting their ability to book. Because sometimes, sometimes you do a release, you do your quality control, and then you go home, everything looks good, and sometimes hours later, sometimes days later, unfortunately, um, you, something pops up that, that, that you introduced during that release. And understanding what, the, what that baseline is, right? So what Splunk has allowed us to do is say, okay, here's what normal behavior is. And we're trying to, 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 to grow this more, but what, we've been using ITSI to say, here's what that behavior really is, right? Based on, based on what we kind of know are, are, the, are the metrics around, around bookings, right? Here's what that behavior is, and we, we do a release, and we see a, a, a spike, a, a change. And now we're able to say, wait a minute, the, you know, we, we never saw this error before. This error never existed in our system at any point. That was definitely something that was introduced right here in this release. We need to go ahead and resolve this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you, you get some false positives there. You get, you know, if, 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 if your development team is doing, a, it's changed the way they log a little bit, you might get a spike. But, but, that's, but that's cool because you get to go in immediately and, and, and figure out, um, you know, what, 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 those, what those changes are. And you, and you, you get a comfort level that you kind of understand what, how, how your system works. Let me ask you uh, another question. I mean, you had some experience with Splunk, yeah. obviously, yep. a few years working with them. What, in your mind, is on their to-do list? What do you want to see out of them? Oh, man. Doug, if yeah. I'm Doug, <laughs> then, tell me, where what should I go? I what should I do? do? Any gripes? Give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. No, um, for me, it's, it's, it's performance, performance, performance. Um, uh, you know, I want to see things. I want to see my queries run as, as as quickly as possible, right? I want to see. I want to see things fast. I want to. I want to click a button and it happens right away. Now, obviously, that's not gonna. <laughs> that's that, that's 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 not realistic. But yeah, the the the, the I, I like what's what 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 some of the things that Splunk are doing. You look at the, the new metrics index that that they that that they they've been talking about the last two days. So they they have now isolated your time series data. And they're able to optimize the, 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 the searches on time series data separate from your application logs. Right. So you know your CPU, your 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 your, your, uh, your memory consumption. Those, those, that data is is not the same as um, you know you know logging an error or 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 or, or, or logging that a booking was created or or something like that. Those are those are kind of two different things. So so they have kind of decoupled that and they're saying okay. I'm, Anything that's time series, I'm going to put it over here, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to optimize that query, and then you can um, you, you you know you can handle your 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 other logs separately. But the additional benefit of that is then you can take you can take your time series and you can look at a CPU spike, and then you can take your your event data and 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 overlay it on top, mm -hmm. and then you can see hey wait a minute this event is what caused that spike. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that, that's really cool, right? I think they call that M stats. Is that right? M, M stats? Yes, M stats. stats, yes. How about the stuff that you saw this week in the keynotes? Particularly today was the product stuff. A lot of security, obviously. Mm -hmm. Anything that you've seen here at the show that excites you, that you, know, you really said, all right, I yeah. got to have that, I got to learn more? Yeah, so the ITSI event analytics mm -hmm. um, uh, is it, 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 really, uh, seems like something's going to be cool for, for us. Um, so, you know, as, as I've said before, we utilize ITSI internally. Um, so we, we put together our glass tables that shows us, okay, here are all the different components and the hierarchy of, of things, and, 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 when, and when this goes red, it affects these other layers, and, 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 it's, and, it's, and it's really cool. But you know, what they've added in is the ability to, to click a button and drill in to, 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 uh, to those components, and then you have, a, you have a view of, hey, here are the, here are the events associated with that. 
it's really cool because, because now, you're, now you're triaging in one place. Now you get to the problem really quick. And you can go directly into, into your Splunk queries. Uh, it, 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 it really allows, um, what, we're look, what we're looking for is, just, is to resolve quick is, issues as quickly as possible. And, and if you're describing, if I understand this correctly, you can visualize the dependencies. Yes, exactly. And, and you can you know, take remedial action or yeah. identify or inform the business yes, uh, what ex to expect, ex exactly. be much more proactive. That's what people are talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and we found that, one of the surprising things we found with Splunk is that um, our business our, our, our users of Splunk as well, right? So, you know, it's, you're like, it's always an IT tool, it's something that, you know, only, you know, only the geeks are going to look at. And then, and then all of a sudden you present a dashboard to a business user and they go, ah, that's pretty, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you, you know, um, all of a sudden they, they, they want it more than you do. Mm -hmm. So, but, that, that, but that's what makes it great, right? Because you can present the data however you want, and you, and, and you can you can you can you can put it in a way that 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 different audiences can consume, and so it becomes it, it becomes a, a platform that got, goes across the organization, which is really really cool. But sure, at bottom line's all speed, right? Yes. I mean, I mean, yeah. I yeah. Take care of my problems faster. Get my yeah. customer faster. <laughs> deliver faster. <laughs> yes. Come on, Splunk. Come on, let's go. We, we want to go. <laughs> it's faster. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Get more, you know, get get, get more sleep. Get more all right. sleep. Well, thanks for being with us. We oh. appreciate that. And you know, we'll talk about the cruise. I mean, I know Leonard Nelson, our no. producer over here, has already said. Book him for a massage, the presidential <laughs> suite. Uh, he wants one a night, and then the champagne buffet. Place. It's done. It's fast internet, it's, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's fast, fast internet. internet. Yeah, all right. It's we're, done. We're simple people. We don't yeah. need all that, but we'll talk later. All right, man. All right. Appreciate well, it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being right. with us. Ruel well, Wade joining us from Carnival. Back with more from Splunk.com. 2015, 2017, 2015. Where did no. that come from? <laughs> 2017. Been a long day. <laughs>